The thing I think I love most about Toastmasters meetings is that I leave so motivated every week when I leave this meeting. You think that might be an oxymoron, motivated meeting. Typically meetings pull us down, so how can we actually leave a one hour meeting feeling like we can go run through a brick wall? It's because everybody participates. It's because nobody's criticizing anyone else. You could fall flat on your face and someone's going to be there to tell you what you did great right before you fell. That's what I love about Toastmasters. Toastmasters is an international organization that is actually celebrating its 90th anniversary. The mission of Toastmasters is to provide people with an opportunity to come work on their public speaking skills and their leadership skills. There's an old saying that if it were easy, everybody would be doing it. And I think people have an idea that if someone is a good public speaker, they were born with that skill. I'm here to tell you that is not true. And of the veteran speakers in this club, that is not true of them either. Toastmasters is an ideal place to come to work on your public speaking skills, work on your leadership skills in front of a friendly and supportive audience. Anybody out there that wants to develop public speaking, communication, and leadership skills should come and try out Toastmasters. In the evaluation process, we learn to emphasize people's strong points, to use those to sandwich one or two points that need to be developed by a Toastmaster. An evaluation is an evaluation, not a critique or a grade to make you feel inadequate or ashamed. It's a springboard for experimentation. Toastmasters was actually the brainchild of Ralph Spedley, who was born and raised in Waverly, Illinois. After joining the YMCA and his job, he moved around. Eventually, he settled in Santa Ana, California, where Toastmasters International was started in 1924. The McBrien Lincoln Douglas Toastmasters, Club Number 51, was the first club east of the Mississippi, and it is over 75 years old. The Noontime Toastmasters is a spin-off of that club. Toastmasters makes us all a better leader, and that was something unexpected for me. I didn't realize I was going to gain those skills when I came to Toastmasters. The Noontime Toastmaster Club meets every Monday at 12 noon at the Laurel United Methodist Church on South Grand in Springfield. The meetings last approximately one hour. Everybody is welcome. It is a public organization, open to all, and we certainly welcome all guests.